Wilden, How to Read a Performance Curve Every Wilden air-operated double diaphragm pump, or AODD pump, has a performance curve. Performance curves for each pump can be found within the pump's manual and on the pump's product page on the Wilden website. A Wilden AODD pump performance curve is made up of three axes, a horizontal axis, a vertical axis, and a curved axis. The horizontal axis of the performance curve represents the pump's discharge flow rates in gallons per minute or liters per minute. The vertical axis of the performance curve represents the pressure. In an AODD pump, pressure can correspond to the following two parameters. Air inlet and outlet pressure in PSIG and bar, or the total head in feet. The gray curved lines connecting the horizontal axis to the vertical axis represent the pump's air inlet in PSIG. The black vertical curved lines represent the air consumption of the AODD pump. A Wilden AODD pump's air consumption is measured in standard cubic feet per minute, or SCFM. There are three main data points an AODD pump performance curve can define. The AODD pump's overall operating range, the AODD pump's performance, and the AODD pump's air consumption. The AODD pump's performance curve defines the pump's overall operating range. The operating range is the minimum to maximum gallons or liters pumped per minute. This is identified by quickly looking at the horizontal axis data range, as well as considering the gray air inlet curved axis. For example, this performance curve defines this AODD pump's overall operating range from a minimum of zero gallons per minute to a maximum of over 180 gallons per minute. The AODD pump performance curve defines the pump's performance based on a specific operating point, utilizing the required gallons per minute as a certain discharge pressure. For example, a manufacturing plant requires an AODD pump to pump 90 gallons per minute at a discharge pressure of 50 PSIG. To find out how well the AODD pump will perform, utilize the performance curve by finding 90 gallons per minute along the horizontal axis. Then follow the line up to 50 PSIG on the vertical axis. The area where the horizontal axis and vertical axis intersect is the operating point. From this operating point, the curve will identify the required air inlet pressure to achieve the desired performance by following the gray curved axis. In this example, the operating point is between the 80 PSIG and 100 PSIG air inlet curves. Thus, the required air inlet pressure to operate the pump would be 90 PSIG. The AODD pump performance curve defines the pump's air consumption. Air consumption can be used to help size a compressor for your system, as well as identify opportunities for cost savings. If we utilize the same operating point from the performance example, pumping 90 gallons per minute at a discharge pressure of 50 PSIG, how much air will the AODD pump consume? From this operating point, the performance curve identifies the AODD pump's air consumption by following the black vertical curved axis. In this example, by following up the black vertical curved axis, which lies between 60 and 80 SCFM, you can expect the AODD pump's air consumption to be about 72 SCFM. To size the air compressor for your system based on the pump's 72 SCFM air consumption, use the formula. HP equals SCFM divided by 4.5. In this example, 72 divided by 4.5 equals 16. Air compressors are sized in increments of 5, and therefore, to round up, the air compressor size will need to be 20 HP. Generally, whether pumping a liquid similar to water or something much more viscous, 
it is recommended to always operate an AODD pump in the center of its performance curve rather than in the extreme conditions. This is the most efficient way to operate an AODD pump, not only from a performance and air consumption perspective, but it also helps extend the life of wear parts.